the Ascot Novices Maiden Chase is the next one today. Uh, the first of a few from the Royal Course, and it's a two mile five furlong maiden for the novices and over the big obstacles and the top one is MC Hammer for Paul Rhodes Master of Shadows Joshua Sutherland William the Conqueror Leon Van Rensburg Avalino John Morgan Destiny Awaits You Jim Murray Fergus Falls Darren Thompson Glory B Drama David Robertson Rooting for You David Hooley and Young Ones for Craig Allen so nine this time call in and away in the rain and the flashy grey from the John Morgan stable, Avalino has gone off into the lead. So it's Avalino in front then. John Morgan front runner from William the Conqueror. I think it's on his first run of the season. Then Young Ones and Furthest Falls rooting for you. He's also in that little leading group. And closest to us is Jim Murray's Destiny awaits you. Jim Murray had a great day yesterday. I hope we'd have such a good day as well today. And they finally get to the first of the 16. That's a crashing fall there for Young Ones. So Craig Allen's horse out. At the first, that's a bit of a surprise as they get to the second. Uh, taking a look again at the field, they're all top trainers in this, and all safely over the third. And Avalino skips over that one in the lead. Clear from Destiny awaits you second, Glory Be Drama third, then Fergus Falls, Master of Shadows, Wooding the Conqueror, rooting for you, and MC Hammer. So all the top yards represented then. Craig Allen has sadly departed, but it's Avalino who is in the lead. And clear by about five. To Destiny awaits you in second as they get to the fifth, which they're all safely over. MC Hammer just about the back marker. Making their way towards the next end. will be the last I think on the next circuit as they skip over it and Avalino is four to five lengths clear from Destiny awaits you second as they pass the totalisator board on the winning post in the big screen and they'll swing out right handed or a complete circuit of this Berkshire track with Avalino clear in front by four Destiny awaits you second Two lengths or so into a line of four of them with Master of Shadows in the black and red closest to us. The purple jacketed rooting for you for David Hooley right over on the far side of the green with the yellow cuffs is MC Hammer. A little one runs with a dark blue is William the Conqueror as they get over that one. I jump there by Glory B Drama by uh, David Robertson's turquoise and maroon hoops in the back marker. Is Fergus Falls as they get over the eighth. Fergus Falls for Darren Thompson in the maroon with a white sleeve, so no checks for everybody there. Let's hope that Fergus Falls doesn't walk to his name as they get to number nine. Uh, they're all safely over it. Uh, Avalino is the leader. Has been so far throughout. We have Destiny awaits you second as they get to the tenth. Oh, a mistake there by the Jim Murray horse. Destiny awaits you. have seen it just shuffle down the pack a little bit. Seems to have recorded it quite well though. David Hoon is rooting for you as the new back marker, but it's Avalino. It's clear by five. So William the Conqueror second. Destiny awaits you third. Master of Shadows on the outside fourth. And Glory B Drama and Drew up between those two. And Fergus Falls is going to try and come around the outside as they take number 11. Good jump on the inside there by MC Hammer. Rooting for you is not out of it at the back as they get over number 12. There's four more to take then now. This is the fourth last. It could be the final ditch. And they're all safely over it with Avalino still clear in front. Over the third last they go and they're all jumping well still. But it's Avalino who's now only a length and a half clear. The one who's making significant eye-catching progress is Fergus Falls, who swept through into second. Master of Shadows is still there in third. William the Conqueror now moves past him, though. Then comes Gloria Waits, who suddenly the um, 
a gap has opened up to Glory B Drama, then MC Howard and Rooting View. Those three might well be out of it now, and as they race down towards the final two fences, and over that one, Fergus Falls landed in the lead. Avelino headed for the first time. William the Conqueror is trying to run on shortly between these three as they come down towards the final fence. It's looking like Fergus Falls has just got to be Fergus jumps, and he'll take this one. He comes up towards the final fence, then with a lead of about two lengths. Fergus Falls in the lead, gets over it nicely. Better jump though by Avelino, who's now fighting back. It's Fergus Falls and Avelino. These two as they race up towards the line now, and Avelino's getting up on the inside. Fergus Falls has got nothing left. William the Conqueror got up close, and it's Avelino's going to take it up towards the run. Avelino takes it pretty comfortably in the end from William the Conqueror. Second, Fergus Falls was third, and then Destiny awaits your master of shadows and glory be drama. MC Hammer finally rooting for you. And Avelino led most of the way. Was headed in the straight, but fought back well and won quite comfortably in the end. So Avelino takes it for John Morgan. With William the Conqueror for Leon van Rensburg second. Fergus Falls, Darren Thompson was third. Destiny awaits you, Jim Murray was fourth. And Master of Shadows for Joshua Sutherland was fifth.